In this video, I'm going to show you how to clean all the clutter left by imported CAD files that have been exploded. Hi everyone, I'm Berti with BIM Lounge. Make sure you don't miss any of our weekly BIM productivity videos. Now, best practice is of course to link CAD files and not import them. But if you do have imports, uh, you can easily replace them with links. And I have a video about it, link in the description. Now, even if you delete the imports, there are items that need to be removed for your Revit file to run smooth. Let me show you. When you work with Revit and uh, CAD files, what you'll find sometimes is that CAD files are being imported and uh, for some reason exploded, probably to create details or otherwise trace CAD lines, and then they get deleted. So let's simulate that. Uh, I already exploded this file and I'm going to delete all these items so that they're actually gone, but you'll find that some of the elements are still in the model. So let's find them out. Now the first item we're going to check is the line style menu. So let's head over to manage, additional settings, line styles. And if you expand that, you'll see that there are some um, additional line styles that we didn't have before. And of course you can uh, go ahead and select them all and you can delete them. But just know that you're just deleting line styles and not imported line patterns. So these will stay where they are. So we're going to delete all those categories. And what this does is simplifying your drop down menu. So when you actually draw a line, you don't have all those line styles. Now for line patterns, we can do something similar. So we head over to manage additional settings and line patterns. Now, if you scroll down, you'll see that there are these line patterns that are obviously coming from the imported file and you can easily recognize them and what you can do is select one by one and delete them and of course you know if you try to select multiple files or multiple line patterns it won't let you so what i recommend if you have a ton of these is to use this um, dynamo script that i can provide in the description now this is a very simple Dynamo script that essentially looks for all the line pattern elements and within their name searches for the word import and uh, you can uh, get creative uh, about the keyword that Dynamo needs to search but essentially it finds all those elements and then they all get deleted and you get a report of all the elements that are in and out. So let's go ahead and uh, run this and I deleted 16 of them. So now let's go check the manage settings and line patterns. And as you can see, all the line patterns that had the word import in it are gone. Now let's verify textiles and arrowheads. If you click on a piece of text, you'll see that all these imported textiles are still in the file even though we have no text coming from that cat file but both that and uh, arrowheads can be purged let's look at arrowheads additional settings again and as you can see especially this one i hear that can bring some uh, corruption into your file so you can go ahead and um, purge them purge unused pu in my case that's a custom command and you can go ahead and check none and check that one and then all the textiles and then of course click OK and now you should have a cleaner cat file and now you should have a much cleaner Revit file now if purge didn't work for arrowheads and you still have those uh, additional import arrowheads in your Revit file I would suggest running this um, Dynamo script I didn't write the script, but I'll provide a link in the description uh, and it should work on deleting the uh, leftover arrowheads. Now, of course, if you're trying to revitize a CAD file, for example, uh, detail, the best way to do it is to use a Revit interim file. And I have a video about it, link in the description. Let me know if you have any questions and thanks for watching.